Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. We're back today with the TrackMan Golf Simulator. Now, I just released a video of the TrackMan 4 unboxing and first look. If you guys haven't seen it, make sure you check it out. I'll put it in the description. All right, there'll be a link. But we took a look at the TrackMan TPS software and then also the Virtual Golf 2 software. And then I had a ton of people reach out that said, we have to see some on-course play. Can you do a course vlog to show this thing off in action? That's what we're here to do today. Okay, so we're out at Pebble Beach, one of the most well-known courses out there, one of their newest courses and one of my favorites. So I figured it would be a perfect one to show off and we'll do much more in the future. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't had a chance and make sure you throw a comment down there, anything that you'd like to see, any questions you have, or if you're looking to purchase a TrackMan or other hardware or software, let me know. My email is always pinned to the top of the comments and I'd love to help. So let's go ahead and just dive right in here. I'm gonna take my camera and I'm gonna shrink it down to get it out of your guys' way, okay? Uh, try not to block too much. Then if you look in the lower right at the mini map, we're here on this dog leg to the right. Um, I'm gonna try to squeeze a, a light driver down there is what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm not really good at fading it, so I'm just gonna try to, you know, just hit a light driver. If I can fade it maybe just a little bit, then uh, that'd be nice. But um, that way I can get maybe a pitching wedge into the green, I think that'd be great. So let's see what we can do here. That should play how I want it to. It's fading a little bit, um, but that's that location. That's what I was trying to do. I mean, I, I didn't want to crush it. Um, I mean, I definitely didn't get quite as much carry as I wanted to. I thought I'd sneak it up there another 10 or 15 yards, but you know, for not being warmed up and just hitting a light driver, I think that's the perfect play because now I have 132, okay? It is uphill. Um, I'm probably gonna have to hit like a light nine because I don't think I could, I mean, I could probably draw a pitching wedge in there, but you know, I'm not really warmed up and I feel like this is the right play. Um, so let's go ahead and try this. I'm gonna show you guys some features along the way. We'll show you some different views that they have and different things, but let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, get some play under our belts and then I'll show you guys some of that stuff as we go. Nice light nine, little fade. Oh, did I fade it too much though? I tried to take some off. Well, that's not bad. Pin high to the right. I mean, it was 10 feet uphill and I, I hit like a nice light fade. So um, I think that was the right play, honestly. And then now we have a birdie putt. So I have 10 stimp and I have it on auto align. So you putt straight for the right speed. Okay, and my turf's a little over a 10, so I feel like it plays you know, quite well. Uh, my unit is, uh, seven feet behind the ball and I'm just over 10 feet to my screen just so you guys understand the whole setup if you're not familiar. So I mean it plays for about 17 feet because it's three uh, three inches uphill. Let's see if we can knock this in for birdie. Get in there. Oh I think I just had a little too much speed on it. Uh, I misjudged the speed just a little bit but we'll be in for par. Um, not a bad start, honestly. Not a bad start. I thought I managed to get us started one under early, but that's okay. This is a tough course. I think that's cool how they give you this preview. Shows you the yards, the par, and then the index of the hole. You guys didn't get to see that in the first hole, but you get to see that on all the rest of them. Um, this is a par five. Um, I mean, goal on this hole is just to get a nice drive down there because you've got a really long second approach shot. Um, I'm usually laying up on this hole. I actually haven't played this whole course on this software. I bounced around a little bit. Um, you can notice the 3D grass. I'll point some things out along the way. Um, they do amazing attention to detail on making sure all the correct objects. They do drone video and photography. Um, they send a whole crew out, which I think really makes a difference um, if you've been to a course you know, or you've seen it on TV, pictures, whatever it may be, you know that you're playing one that's just uh, just very realistic, it's cool. All right, I swung hard at it. Because <laughs> you want to get some distance. Looks like it's bleeding a little bit on me. Can I keep it in the fairway? There are penalties, just so you guys understand. I'm sure I'll be in the rougher sand at some point. Um, that was a good drive for me. I'm, if I'm carrying 250, 255, whatever, um, you know, that, that's good for me. But if you're in the rough, even the first cut or sand, it actually gives you a, a penalty deduction for power and then also spin as well. 
So just understand that. 240 to the green. Now if I had guts, which I don't, I could uh, I could actually hit three three wood and, and, and probably get it there. But I think I'm gonna, you know, maybe take it a little easy here. I'm gonna take my camera down for a second. I'm gonna show you guys uh, a cool feature. So if I wanted to look at this approach, one, there's a whole flyover, which is cool. I'll show you that in another hole. But you can do two green, which takes you up to the green and shows you the undulation and pin, pin location. Um, so you really kind of understand your approach shot. I mean, look how skinny that green is with, with heavy bunkers on the side and obviously the penalties to, you know, uh, to affect it. I think laying up short or letting this ball roll up is the way to go. I can hit the up button and I can kind of look at my approach shot coming from this side. I actually kind of have to watch out for that tree playing this three hybrid. Um, you know, I might even want to try to play like a tiny little draw. Maybe aim just a little right and draw it around there. Um, I'll get a little extra distance that way. I think that's the, the right play. So let's see what we can do here. Definitely didn't draw it because I felt the way that I hit it on the face, but man, we could be really lucky the way that I hit that thing. I got good distance. I mean, this three hybrid, you know, carry 211 rolled up there. I mean, I'm really glad it didn't hit three wood. Um, you know, my three wood, I can, if I hit it really well, carries probably 240. And, you know, thinking about that more, I mean, I probably would have landed on the green. I, heck, I could have been out of bounds. So that was the right play, it really was. Um, I hit a good drive and it gave me a good approach shot. So we're 22 feet, two inches uphill. So playing about 24 feet, I usually add, you know, uh, for every inch of foot. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting little break though. You know, I think this is gonna be a little challenging. Um, I like having my ball right in the middle, you know, get to focus on my little dot down there that is kind of like my, my replicated aim line, okay? I found the, the putting on TrackMan to be, be really good so far. I'm putting on a rough surface too, which probably isn't optimal, but I find that it's working really well. I could move the ball forward. I just don't have all my lighting uh, on, um, kind of to show a good video. So 24 feet. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Gosh, I just left it a little short. The uphill got me. Another good putt. Uh, within a couple feet, you know, both times. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'll take it. We're, we're even on a very difficult golf course. Look at the size of these greens. Um, here's a cool hole, hole number three, par four, 390 yards, index is 12. And what you'll see most of the pros do, I've been to the US Open here, um, and I've played this course. And it is really cool, uh, the way you can cut this corner if you can launch a driver up. So um, these guys are crazy. I mean, they really go after it. Now I'm going to look at an area where I can carry maybe 250 or so because I know it's downhill 13 yards. And with a little draw, even if you miss left, it's really not bad. Um, you know, there's grass over there and, and you know, there's not like big trouble or anything. Um, so, you know, really, I'll probably set up for a little bit of a draw here. See if we can draw it around, get a little extra power out of it maybe and have a nice short approach shot. Draw, baby. Nah, a little draw, not a whole lot. I hit it really well, though. You can see it carried 256, total 270. That's a really good drive for me. All right. So, I mean, obviously it was 13 yards downhill, so it's not like I killed that thing. But for me, I mean, I'm really happy with that. So. 104 yards to the hole. And I, you know, I do have the data tiles on. I should point something out to you guys. I don't have the additional lighting for club data. So you're gonna see it on some shots and you're not gonna see it on some shots because believe it or not, uh, oh, and I didn't turn my camera on. I apologize for that. Let me turn my camera back on for you guys. Um, I, I really apologize for that. Um, you know, you missed a, missed a couple shots there. No big deal. Um, Let's see if we can hit maybe a 54. Let's see here, three feet downhill. Uh, yeah, I think, that's the, I think that's the right play. I think that's the right play. Let's see what we can do here. All right, sorry about not turning that camera back on. It got a little sidetracked. I 
hit that pretty well. Could it be the right club? <laughs> wow! I mean, I knew I hit it well, but one foot eight inches from the hole. I'll take that. That, folks, is a birdie. We're one under at Pebble Beach. I'm sorry, two under at Pebble Beach. Um, wow. Yeah, because I forgot that I was up on the green on, uh, on, the, on the par five, and we birdied the par five. Oh, man. Fantastic. I'm talking too much and not paying enough attention, and I'm two under here at Pebble Beach. Maybe that's what I need to do, just relax and play some good golf. So, nice wide open fairway here. Um, I, I believe I can carry this bunker. Like if you look, what is that, 234? And it's, I mean, it's a little uphill, but as long as you can carry this bunker, keep it away from, uh, you know, the over on the right, you know, if you really miss the drive, you could definitely go OB. Let's see what we can do here. I'd love to hit another good drive like that last one. Driver has been okay lately. It struck pretty well. All right, clear the bunker. <laughs> the uphill was messing with me. I thought I hit it better than that. You know, I mean, obviously it took some off uh, because of the uphill, but see how it was a little spinny. Um, you know, I've been spinning it close to around 3,000, which isn't the best, but. Um, I thought I hit that just a little better than that. I'm not swinging super hard right now. Um, but yeah, it just wasn't perfect on the club face. All right, 73 yards, nine feet uphill. Now I've been able to spin my wedges uh, out on like the practice facility and stuff and actually get the ball to come back a little bit. So I think the play here is maybe to go for like that 75 yard shot because of the pin location and get it to come back a little bit. Let's see if we can play that. Uh, I think that's too much. Yep, too much and it didn't didn't come back. I kind of just I just got a little aggressive at it. Really cool ocean graphics you can see over to the right. Yeah, I got a little aggressive on my wedge there. All right, 33 feet, 12 inches downhill. So it's playing about 21 with quite a break. So honestly, I'd like to just save par here after that bad approach shot. Obviously we're gonna try to make it, but let's try to get it down there within the friend zone. Pretty good putt. Downhill's carrying it. Oh my gosh, downhill's carrying it too far. <laughs> oh man. No way, and it's off the green, so it's that's 13 feet off the green. Oh, what did I do? And what does it want me to do? Because I'm in the fairway, it wants me to chip. I mean, can I can you switch to putter here? I mean, I think I'm gonna switch to putter and just try it. I haven't done this yet. Um, how is it going to? You can see how you can just click the club, and there's everything. How is it going to roll off of? the fairway is the question. It's 14, so I can hit this for 20 feet because it's six, six inches uphill, 14 feet. So I think I'm gonna get it to roll enough to get inside the friend zone, but this is gonna be a bogey. Um, and it's breaking to the left or right, so I have to aim a little bit left here. Go in. <laughs> well, I guess you can put off the fairway Nice, left your putter at home. <laughs> oh man, the Texas Wedge. They like the play there. That is awesome. So I've only played this a little bit. I, I've, I have never seen the celebration um, when you sink something like that. Done, next hole. <laughs> that's hilarious. I mean, that's, that's, that's really cool. Really, really cool. All right, so let's go ahead. It's uh, auto finishing um, in the hole. And then here we are. So we stay two under, we saved it. Um, man, that's awesome. That is awesome. Hey, we're figuring some things out here. 
you guys get to see some cool stuff along the way. So 185 yards, I pulled out a six iron. I guess I should really look at this. I mean, we can use our, our fly up again to check out the two green. Oh, the greens are just so small here. I mean, look how small they are. So, I mean, if I, even if I land that six iron short, like right here, maybe maybe aim a little bit to the left. I mean, I'm not really gonna try to fade it, but aim a little bit to the left because if I'm short, I wouldn't be in the bunker. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Let's see what we can do here. Wow, what a fun couple holes. I hit it pretty well. Bleeding on me though. Oh man, I even said don't go in the bunker. I just didn't get all of it. I just didn't get all of it. I mean, it was hit hit pretty well. Um, obviously not well enough. And I didn't look how far uphill it was either. Maybe I should have uh, hit a five iron. I just don't think I, I crisp that well enough. You know, it was just, I mean, it felt a tad thin, but I didn't think it was gonna be uh, that far short. All right, well, you guys get to see a sand shot and look at the penalties. I'm 87% power and I'm, oh, I'm 100% spin though. So that's not too bad. Um, 16 yards, I need to add 13% or so. Um, but it's like a, this flop shot I have to play to get it to stick. This is tough, this is really tough. All right, let's see what we can do here. You guys get an opportunity to look at a few things. 3D grass, the edges around the bunker, um, how a track man handles the flop shot. That should be pretty cool. Don't be too much. We saved par. We saved par. All right. I'm actually very happy with that. I was a little a little worried it read the shot really well haven't played many of those i haven't played any flop shots really on here um we're two under heading into hole six par five index is two on this hole a really uphill uh approach um I, i'd like to hit another you know solid drive um get myself some distance and that way the approach shot isn't too bad um because this uphill is it's serious it really is um as far as where you're aimed um, and why don't we do a flyover? This would be a cool hole to do a flyover. So if you go T to green, it takes you from the T all the way to the green. It's a whole flyover. Okay. Figured you guys would definitely want to see that. You get to see some of the ocean graphics, which I appreciate. I think they've done a great job with. All right. You know, I'd like to do 18 holes and we're already working on 20 minutes. We might only be able to finish nine holes. We'll see what we can do. I'm recording at such a high bit rate, guys. The files are massive, but I wanted to show the quality. So I thought that was important uh, to record at a really high bit rate so you guys get some quality. But obviously the file size can get a little out of control. All right. Another decent drive. Catch a piece, catch a piece. All right, I'll take it all day long, all day long. I finally got the driver working for me a little bit, you know, past couple weeks, it's been a, been a little sketchy, been a little sketchy. So it's only 235, it's, a, it's 11 yards uphill though. And once again, just like last time, I mean, it's like I could get out of three wood but if I can even just get my three hybrid right here, it's a par five. I mean, get it close, give yourself an opportunity, right? So I'm just gonna try to control this three hybrid, get a good shot. Ooh. Okay, I thought, I thought it was bleeding pretty hard on me. Now I'm gonna be in the rough. It's gonna make it for a little tougher chip. But that's okay. I mean, that was that was my plan. You know, that was my plan. 33 yards, and what I'm I'm in the semi rough though, so I'm getting pretty much all my speed. It's just taking away a little bit of spin. All right, well that's not too bad. Looking at the heat map there and the pin location, 33 yards. That's where it's going to be vital to judge this thing correctly. 
going to release probably maybe a little bit depending on how much spin I get on this. Release. I think that might be within eight. I think we did it. Oh, eight feet two inches. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal. I thought we had birdie. Brutal. Two inches. All right. Hey. Here's my opportunity to make a short putt. Let's see what we can do. All right, it's, it's about nine feet to that, that uh, dot, so I really don't want this ball to carry further than that because with that break and a 10 stem, I'm sure you don't want this thing rolling hard, it'll miss. Be the one, be the one. Ouch. Oh, left it short. I mean, it stopped right on the dot facts of life are is, is that uh, I needed to hit it just a little further, you know, just a little bit further. Kind of shows you the balance of uh, the famous old moves. Look at that ocean. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, it really shows you, uh, you know, the balance of, you know, it reading that ball speed versus the, the stimp that you're playing. Um, why don't we do this really quick? Let's do a, uh, let's do an up to look overhead which is cool, so you guys can kind of see number seven, kind of see the ocean, all right? I just, I really appreciate these graphics. Lots of detail. Yeah, whatever they did to do this most recent ocean update, and then we can go to the green and kind of look at the shot itself. All right. Pin location's not too bad. So, let's see here. I mean, 10, 10 yards downhill. I mean, I, I really think this is a, a 54. And I'm just, I'm so tempted to hit a light 50. Um, but it's only 110 yards. All right. And I pulled it. Hold on. Just be 10 high. Oh, <laughs> a little too far. It carried on me. I mean, I, well, here we go. We played putter off the fairway last time. You can bet that I'm going to play it off the fringe. I mean, you can bet that. So putter, look at the break. It doesn't auto align you if you're not on the, uh, if you're not on the green. And so, I mean, that's a pretty heavy break. So the question is, is am I reading this right? It's six yards, which is about 18 feet, and it's four inches downhill. So I'd say hit this maybe for, I'm gonna aim just a tiny bit left. I don't trust, I don't trust that break. All right, about 14 feet or so. There's that break. Gosh darn it all, I, I really had a good read on it too. Really had a good read on it. Okay, I'll walk away with par on that. Look at the ocean, isn't that cool? All right, so we move on to number eight. What are we working on, 23 minutes? This is a challenging hole. 427 yard par four, but with the cliff there, all right, and I'll show you kind of where I usually would play this hole, you know, in the various software that I play. Um, see, it's 243 yards, but it's 10 yards uphill. So because I don't crush my driver, I can actually leave it aimed right about there and just make a nice swing, nice smooth swing, and I should be good. All right. Roll up there, ball. Did I let too much off? Oh, well, I'll tell you what, that uphill takes some off, too, because the ball speed is 147. I mean, uh, it really takes a lot off. What was it, like 10, 15 yards uphill or so? It wasn't, wasn't struck perfect or anything, but I kind of left myself a long, long approach shot here. Um, 196 yards, and it's 10 feet downhill. So what if I land, land right there maybe? Let's go, let's use our two green. 
Let's go to green and kind of see what we're working with here. Okay. Nothing crazy. I think just a smooth, smooth five iron. Smooth five iron. Get it down there. We landed on the green. That was a bad shot. <laughs> Oh, that was a bad shot. It was a bad strike. Just wasn't at all what I wanted to do. Rolling down off the hill, see that? Oh man, I kind of lifted out of it. I mean, I'll tell you what, I was so panicked to get it down. All right, 40 yards, four feet uphill. Just gotta get this close. 40 yards, four feet uphill. I knew that ball was going right, because that's where I hit it. Uh, it's an opportunity to just, uh, you know, uh, put that in, but this wasn't a great chip. You know, I think I, I, I Felt my face was open, watched the ball kind of take off right. Um, Got to make this for par. Five inches uphill, so it's playing about 19 feet. See if I can make a nice stroke here. 19 feet. <laughs> if, I, if I hit another putt, Oh, I, it, it, I felt like it was like not even a good strike on the ball. Like it didn't roll the way I like to roll it. And there you go. Well, we're back to one under. Hole number nine, 481 yards, par four, index is four. Another really cool hole. I think we can get nine in comfortably and kind of look at our time here. But I think we're already on like a half hour. This is gonna be a huge file. Maybe what we'll do is, is we'll play this nine and then make another video of the back nine. I think that'd be cool. Guys, comment below and let me know what you think. I think that would be cool. Do a front nine, back nine. Because then the, the video quality is awesome on both. Come on, get catch a piece. Oh, brutal. Brutal. Just brutal. Catching the sand. Let's see what we can do here. Look at the detail. I love the detail. 227 yards. I mean, I think I can rip a three hybrid out of here. You know, it, it launches. It should, be, it should be able to get up, up and above. You know, give me a chance to get nice and close to the green. I mean, should I lay up? I mean, there's, there's a bunker there. I mean, probably, but you know what? There's no laying up. There's no laying up. Come on. Roll up, baby. Go, go, go. I got scared of it. I did a smooth swing versus getting after it. I guess it did take some power off. I mean, it was taking 12% off out of the sand too. So, I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. Fair is only fair, right? All right, third shot. Question is, is can I keep this one under? 34 yards. I think we got to do a little uh, two green. Kind of look at what we're working with here. All right. I mean, it's nothing crazy. I just got to get it up by the pin. 34 yards, 13 inches up. There. All right. I've got this. Come on. What happened? Did we actually have a Trackman misread? I've never had that happen before. I've been testing this thing quite a bit. I wonder if I didn't exit the menu because I had the menu open and I probably have to get back in. I bet you that was it. I was gonna say. All right, here we go. That was a pretty good ship. Oh, it was rolling right towards the hole. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, five feet six inches. That's par. Auto finishing. I mean, uh, what a fun nine holes out here at Pebble Beach. Here's hole 10, 446 yards. It's kind of a teaser because I'll tell you what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna wrap up this nine holes, okay? And we'll do a back now. So um, this is gonna be a huge file, 30 minutes. I'm uh, trying to record at really high resolution so you guys can get a feel for the software. So uh, I hope you guys had as much fun as me. I'm gonna hit some good shots, hit some bad shots, learned a little bit along the way. And uh, you know, so this is our first peek at the TrackMan Virtual Golf 2 simulation software and I'll have a lot more to come. Really want you guys to comment below and let me know what you think. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. All right, feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions or anything at all. Like I said, if you're looking to purchase a TrackMan, I've got awesome connections and the guys want me to connect you, so um, I'd love to do so. Let me know, we'll talk to you soon.